This message is encrypted by the Holy Spirit, the power of Jesus Christ on the cross. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. And those who have eyes to see, let them see what I'm showing you here from the scripture. Uh, the rapture. We're doing a word study on Harpazo. This is the last uh, part on this section. Um, so basically, Harpazo, strong 726, to take up by an open display of force, to snatch up suddenly and decisively. Now, here we go. Two, two of the last verses here, which have Harpazo. Great verses. Revelation 12.5, the man-child who is about to shepherd all nations with a rod of iron. It's snatched up, snatched away, snatched up to God and his throne. 1 Thessalonians 4.17, the living will be snatched up into the clouds to meet Jesus in the air. So by taking a look at every single one of these, Harpazo, in the New Testament, we come to the conclusion and make it very simple of what the rules are. The rule is, the main overarching rule is, an overwhelming force is exerted on the object it's snatched up or snatched away without objection. So in all instances, the object that's being moved has no say in the matter whatsoever. It is moved. Obviously, this cannot apply to Jesus, our Savior, who is omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, God. Obviously, the entity in Revelation 12.5 that's being snatched up to God and his throne is not Jesus. That is crucial. You'll notice that the man-child is about to shepherd all nations with a rod of iron in, I believe it's uh, Revelation 2.26. It is taught that those who overcome will rule and shepherd with a rod of iron. The same exact words in 12.5. It's clear who that is. It is the body of Christ who's raptured up to God in his throne, not Jesus. That is very critical for what uh, is not about ready to lead up to the next few videos, which will show you who's going to be raptured, when it's going to take place.